Today in my garden, I thought I would take you on a quick tour of the front border so you can see what's in flower and before I begin deadheading all the roses. I'm standing by our front door and I'm going to walk down towards the driveway. So starting here, this is our climbing rose coming into bloom. Another rose. Perennial geranium. Yellow bells. This rose I bought last year and is just now starting to flower. Carrying on. This one is doing well. I've got, where is it? I've got a delphinium right there coming up. I don't know what color that is. I thought it had died. This area here I'm planting up as it's a bit sparse. I'm just going to cut over here to the peony agapanthus border. See the lavender starting to come out. Agapanthus. More perennial geraniums that I bought the other day. Other agapanthus. A red poppy going across the path, hot chocolate rose, peonies, all this here are Chinese lanterns. I didn't plant them in a row like that. They just sort of self-seeded. So thank you, birds. There's quite a lot of flowers on them. This is the Darcy Russell Rose. Carrying on. I bought this rose late last year. This is called Tuscan, Tuscan Superb. It's supposed to be very highly scented. Nothing on this one. Another peony. This rose bush is doing well. Another hot chocolate rose. I've got another one. It's got one head on it. Let me zoom in on it. Let's see. Is it? That's right. There. That's called Tequila Sunrise. That's yellow with a red rim. Peony down there. Peony. There we go. Some of my peonies. Peonies and another perennial geranium. These tall spiky things are Crocosmia lucifer, so they're a very vibrant reddish orange. Look at this, a sea of white lace flowers and some daisies. And there are some leaves down here forget what they're called, but they should be coming up soon. More white lace flowers, some hollyhocks, poppies. A view of the peonies as you were coming up our road, along with the hot chocolate rose and the red poppy. This is spent, but this is a Baccarat or a Bacchus rose. It's supposed to be black, but it's really a very, very, very deep maroony type of red. You can see there are more coming out soon. These hollyhocks come up every year, thank you birds. And I think they look so nice 
along the driveway. I sewed these about a month ago. This is night scented stock and hopefully, well I'm hoping they'll flower this year but I don't think they will until next year, providing the heat doesn't kill them. Uh, here's my Heaver Castle rose covered in aphids. Uh, uh, you can see I have to deadhead that. There's do quite well. There's quite a lot of flowers on there. Here are my hot lip salvias. Oh, that doesn't look good. Clematis, dahlias. That dahlia is called Happy Halloween and it's bright orange. And speaking of bright orange, this is the other rose I got at Hever Castle last year. Planted this hanging basket. I think it was last weekend. I only got three of these uh, black petunia plants, and the basket looked sparse. So, being I had so many marigolds left, I thought I'd make this into a Halloween basket. So I planted the solid orange ones to go with the black. These, these, and those are the oh. And those are the white lace flowers I planted in spring. They've really come along well, haven't they? Look at that. That's almost as tall as me. This is a nice surprise. The stalks are doing very well. Oh, I wish you could smell them. Finally got all my veg planted out, so. Butternut squash, zucchini. Zucchini, some fennel, green spinach, beets, cherry tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, plum tomatoes. What are these? I forgot what kind of tomatoes these are. And then these are beef steaks. And peppers, peppers, and an eggplant. Oh, my beans are coming out now. And my tree, my gooseberry tree, is loaded with fruit. So that's going to need harvesting soon. The view from my kitchen window. These were all Rhapsody and Blue. You can see they've all gone over, so they're going to need deadheading. But this is another Heaver Castle plant I got. That's doing well. Thankfully, I wrapped that for winter and it survived the freeze.